Bronx, a sad story of a stolen instrument. That's right. A thief steals a trumpet from an FDNY captain who uses that trumpet to play taps at funerals and 9-11 memorials. So while the horn can be replaced, the sentimental value cannot. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang has the details on his attempt to bring the trumpet home. Well, Joe and Tanya, this busy firehouse behind me here in the High Bridge section of the Bronx is in the news tonight for a very different reason. Theft. Theft of a sentimental, personal item. This is Captain Anthony Holtz with the New York City Fire Department. He keeps the city safe at night. Then during the day, as a member of the ceremonial unit, he puts his heart into his trumpet to play at funerals, events, and 9-11 anniversaries. But the music stopped last week while he was busy taking care of the community. Someone broke into his car and stole his precious trumpet. Purchased 25 years ago from his inspiring high school teacher for $400. His teacher later passed, but the music continued. Over the decades, Captain Holtz has brought so much joy and comfort to others. Any musician will understand the emotional attachment a performer has with his instrument. Captain Holtz desperately wants his beloved trumpet back. Not angry or anything like that. Um, not looking to get anybody in trouble or press any charges, but just would love to have, uh, have that trumpet back. Well, his trumpet might be worth about two or three thousand dollars on the market today. But for this fire captain, it's not about the price tag. He just wants to breathe beauty again into the instrument that helped him become a musician. We're live in the Bronx. I'm Lucy Yang for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Mm.